Hi everyone, this is part uh, 13 of MVC interview questions. Is it clear? So in this video, we'll try to discuss about explain the state management techniques in ASP dot and MVC. Very, very powerful topic actually. State management techniques we have, we already learned state management techniques in ASP.NET. In MVC also you have some state management techniques or sometimes in interview they'll ask you how to pass the data from controller to view. How to pass the data from controller to view. This is also they may ask the question in different ways. One is explain the state management techniques in ASP.NET and MVC. Other one is how to pass the data from controller to the view. Generally, we already know the architecture of MVC. This is your browser. In MVC here, you have browser will be there and this is your server will be there. And here you have controller will be there. This is your controller. Control is nothing but a class actually. Control is nothing but a class home controller inheriting from controller. Any class that is inheriting from controller, then that class is called as controller. So controller comes of action methods. So here I'll try to write public action result, something like index. Here I have some action methods are there. And here I'll try to return view, return view of. It is a method actually, view of is a method. So control the guns of action methods, yes or no? Now here I have one view is there, something like here I have one view, the name of the view I will give as index.cshtml, index.cshtml. Now for example, I have some data, I have some variable I declared inside the action method, string s, uh, string s is equal to, here I'll try to write some name, Kannababu, I'll try to write. So I declared one variable in my action method. Now I want to print this variable value in index.cshtml. At the rate, here I'll try to write something like h1 tag, and I want to print at the rate yes. Is it clear? I have declared some variable in a controller. I want to pass the, I want to access this variable inside the view. So how to pass, how to pass the data from controller to the view. This is your browser, we already know. Browser will send the request to the server here. This is your server. Inside the server, controller will accept the request. So browser will send the request to the server. Here controller will accept the request. Controller will invoke action method. And this action method will render the output to the browser. Action method will render the output to the browser. So how to pass the data from controller to the view? How to pass the data from controller to the view? So here we can pass the data from controller to the view in different ways. One is by using view data. Other one is by using view back. Another one is by using temp data. And other one is by using um, session. There are four techniques are there to pass the data from controller to the view. Is it clear? One is by using view data. Other one is by using view back. Another one is by using temp data. And other one is by using session. So this is one of the powerful question interview. How to pass the data from controller to the view? We can pass the data from controller to the view in different ways. Different techniques are there to pass the data from controller to the view. One is view data. Other one is uh, view back, another one is temp data, another one is uh, session. There are four types of techniques are there. Are you following? So in the next video, we'll discuss about one by one the important uh, what is view data.